Being the largest land mammal on Earth, elephants usually need between 149 and 169 kilograms of vegetation daily. 16 to 18 hours, or nearly 80% of the elephant's day, is spent feeding. Nowadays, human encroachment into the forested areas have caused habitat destruction and reduced food availability for elephants and other animals. Therefore, hungry elephants tend to visit the landfills in search of food. This has become a common sight to the neighboring villagers. Without proper plans, local government has established landfill on the border of Wildlife Protected Zone. Unlike the other wild animals, elephants need huge amounts of food daily, proportionate to their larger body size. There are a few herds of elephants coming in to feed off these dumps. The elephants eat plastic and polythene that are mixed in with food particles among the rubbish. Swallowed plastics fills the stomach and, not surprisingly, this reduces the feeling of hunger. Animals eat less, obtain less energy, and weaken. Larger pieces of plastic and polythene can block their gastrointestinal tract, so that the plastics and polythene can no longer be excreted. Seeing this unfortunate situation, local government erected concrete walls around the waste landfill to keep out the hungry elephants. But it was in vain. Strong elephants destroyed the concrete walls by trampling. Now they continue their feeding habit on landfill without any restriction. Rubbish from the nearby areas is taken to the dump located near the forest, which has since attracted numerous wild animals. This elephant is a frequent visitor to this garbage dump. But this day he has lost his way around and strayed towards the village. The elephant might have become excited and unconsciousness with the sight of humans and houses. He began to destroy the properties and cultivations in the village. He has ruined part of a wall around a house. The villagers were frightened and informed the wildlife officials. Wildlife officials arrive as soon as they hear about this aggressive elephant. They realize that leaving the elephant like this would be dangerous for elephant and the villagers as well. There's a risk for this elephant to be attacked or shot by outraged people for destroying their properties. Therefore, the officials decide to guide the elephant towards the forest again. They use firecrackers and rubber bullets to try to guide the elephant into the jungle. These firecrackers and rubber bullets do not cause any injuries or harm to the elephant. It is used by the experienced officers only to guide the elephant towards the forest. The elephant moves out of the village due to the screams of the wildlife officials and the rubber bullet shooting of the elephant. The elephant had to encounter an electric fence during his flight. The elephant can be seen breaking down the first electric fence. Luckily, the fence was not electrified at the time. The elephant moved forward and had to encounter another two electric fences. He successfully crossed the second electric fence, too, by breaking it. But unfortunately, the third electric fence has been electrified.
The poor elephant got electrocuted during his attempt to cross the fence. This electricity is not strong enough to cause harm to an elephant. Only a small current is made through the electric fence just to scare away the elephant in order to avoid the elephants from entering the village at night. Meanwhile, the wildlife officials called the relevant authorities and asked to switch off the power supply. Here we can see that the elephant is shaking the poles of the electric fence. The enraged elephant appears to have trampled on the fence. It behaves very aggressively. Wildlife officials are also seen performing their duties at the risk of their lives. Officials have successfully steered the elephant towards the jungle through various barriers. The elephant moved towards the forest, which is the safest place for the survival of the treasured elephants. Wildlife officers strived hard to mitigate such unfortunate outcomes of human-elephant conflict. Their aim is to safeguard the endangered elephant and save them from catastrophes caused by humans. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house.